Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel, your go-to destination for all things Apple. Today we're diving deep into one of iPhone's most powerful yet underutilized features, the control center. Whether you're new to iPhone or a seasoned pro, stick around to unlock the full potential of this handy tool. First up, what exactly is control center? Well, it's this nifty panel that pops up when you swipe up from the bottom edge of iPhones with a home button, or swipe down from the top right corner on newer models. It gives you instant access to various settings and features without the need to navigate through the settings app. Now let's personalize it. Head over to settings and then scroll down to control center. Now scroll down until you see more controls. Here, add the ones you want to use and then scroll up over here to included controls and remove the ones that you don't. Do you want quicker access to your camera? Just tap on the plus button to add it to your control center. Rarely use the code scanner? Tap on the minus button to remove it. But it's not just about what you add, it's also about how you organize it. Let's head back to control center and now look at these little lines right here. You can tap and hold on it to bring them up or down. I like having my music recognition and flashlight up first for quicker access. Now let's unlock some hidden features. Did you know that a long press on certain controls unveils more options? For instance, let's open Control Center and tap and hold on the flashlight app. Here it brings up this menu where you can scroll up or down to increase the brightness or decrease it. You can also tap and hold on the timer icon to quickly set timers, anywhere ranging from a minute all the way up to two hours. It's a game changer. The control center isn't just about quick settings. It's also about quick actions. You can use it to control your smart home devices, access the magnifier, or even use your AirPods as a makeshift hearing aid with the live listening feature. And there you have it folks. Your control center isn't just a tool. It's a command center, making your iPhone experience smoother and more intuitive. Spend some minutes customizing it and it will pay off every single day. I hope you found these tips helpful. What's your must have control in the control center? Drop a comment below. I'd love to hear your setup. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your iPhone using friends. And maybe just tap on the video right here for more Apple tips and tricks. Catch you in the next one.